Hey, it's Filet, and you're watching Filet TV, the ultimate YouTube channel. I'm no cinema photographer, just a dude with a camera. And guess what? We had guacamole last night, and you know what that means. You know, I love avocados. They come in all different shapes and sizes. The bigger they are, the tastier they are. And I, you know, I'll just eat them like, like that. Just cut them open and eat them. But I just, for some reason, I can never just throw away, you know, the avocado pit. I, even though you see I've got a ton of avocado trees going on, I just it just kills me to throw these things away. Anyways, so today we're going to work on, you know, look at some of the ones that I've done over my past videos. I realize, you know, it's almost springtime. I just wanted to thank everybody for watching and all the comments and the thumbs up and stuff. I really appreciate it and I enjoy doing the video. So thanks for watching Filet TV. This one kind of, all the leaves died off, so I gave it a trim, and as you can see, it's coming back. So, you know, just because the leaves die off, it doesn't mean anything. You just clip them away. And here, let's see if we go around this way. Here's a big tall one that died off. Let's see if we can see this. So, what I've been doing is just I just keep clipping the die off. And as you can see, it's forcing branches to grow lower. Which I think is kind of cool. And so, so incidentally, if you're following my other videos, I want to point out that this one here is the one that I didn't crop. I was allowing one to grow to a, a full length without it branching on its own. What had happened is the sun fried the top of it, and so it died off. And now it's shrinking because every time I get die back, I clip it there. And like I said, branches are growing. So that's it. So here's some of these other ones. If you remember, I showed you guys how I crop them to make a nice big fat trunk. And if you search avocado big fat trunk, you're going to see these videos. But here's some of the ones that I've done. And you can see that the idea was to have one leader growing up and then to branch off. As you can see, all of these are doing that. And see at the top, where you can see I have three branches growing. What's going to happen is that I'm going to allow one of these to grow up straight and the other two to grow off to the side. So where it's going to look like this. I want to keep it as short as possible, but I want to have as many branches come off of it as I can. See, like we have here. What I'll do is you want to have one be the leader and have it go to the, you know, stay straight up because that's where it's going to get its height. And then as it gets a little taller, you top, the, top it, you know, cut the top off and it'll start to grow more branches. So I think this, this will become a side branch as this one continues to grow upward like this. Okay, so all of these that are in the black pots live outdoors in the semi-shade and you can see they're all leaning to one direction because they're chasing the sun. And so these will go back out there. All of these have been living indoors. And as you can see, all the leaves are wilted on this one because I kind of let it dry out. I noticed it the other day. So instead of allowing this one to struggle, to try and keep moisture all those leaves, I'm going to take off the biggest ones. If I could see. I'm going to take off that one. I'm going to take off that one. Then I'm going to take off that one. And so now it'll just have two leaves. And before you know it, it's going to look like any of these. Okay, so now I want to stake these up a little bit because you can see it's getting kind of tall and wobbly. So I'm going to put a stake in the back of it. And with these little twist ties, I'm going to draw it. And tighten it here 
And I like these twist ties because you can untie them anytime you really need to. And then I'm going to take, there was one that the top has been busted off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one and let this continue going up. Now the hope is to allow this one to sag as it gets heavier, it's gonna sag and it'll be a side branch. And then we're hoping then these nodes are starting to swell up. And like I said, this is the beginning of spring till next week or so. So I'm gonna allow this one to get heavy. You know, you could even put a little weight on it because once it gets started there, it's gonna know exactly what to do. And then there's another one, it's the same deal. I'm going to put a stake in the back of it. And then this is the main leader. Okay, then as you see at the very top, since I chopped it, and you can see it's growing an extra side branch. So we're gonna allow this to grow for another few months. And as it gets taller, we'll do the same thing as crop it and force one of them to grow sideways. So it'll be another extension. As you can see, this one here on the top has, as well, a couple of them, a couple of branches here. This one's going to need a stake. I'll have to go get one. But you can see, one's going to be take control and be the leader and be the stock. It's gonna keep growing up. And then the other one's gonna become a side branch. Because if we just allowed them to just droop, it's not gonna go get any taller. It's only gonna stay this size. So what you wanna do is control how many levels you want it. And you'll determine the overall height of the tree, you know, within the first few years. And then it'll be, the growth will be intermittent. But the idea of this concept is to have branches low to the ground that's going to give you the maximum amount of fruit so you don't have to climb these avocado trees. They get giant, trust me. Okay, so as soon as it gets a little more shade outside and I could do a better job recording, I will take you out and show you my big fat stump on my five-year-old avocado tree and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about on the branching. This is my five-year-old avocado tree that I call the big fat trunk. Because if you look at this, the girth on this thing is great. And with the method I'm showing you, this is what your branches will turn out to be like. Okay, so it's growing horizontal to the tree and you could see at each one of these junctions where I've topped it off and it grew a new branch and all the way up to the top you could still see it continuing. So the idea is once this thing comes out of this pot and goes in the ground and totally matures just think, imagine one day your kids or your grandkids will be standing on these branches so they could reach the fruit that's going to be growing around here. And so, like I say, springtime is coming right around the corner, but I do have to trim a lot of these back. And you can see, you know, these are going to 
really do well this season. And you can see all the nodes going on here, the branches. So what I'm gonna do is top all of this again. And you can see this is gonna be a strong tree. This tree is three years old and it's quite strong. It's got a lot of branching at the bottom. It's got its lateral branching going on on either side. And you can see it goes up and does the same thing here. And this one will continue to be the leader. And I cut it off there to stop that one from being a leader. That's some of the tricks that I do to make a big fat trunk on an avocado tree. So ultimately the goal is to grab, get your avocado tree to stay short and to branch out of the side. So that's how I do my pruning right before springtime. And let's hope for a uh, real good growth this year. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will give you an update on these and other projects that I have going on. So please stay tuned. Thanks for watching Filet TV.